Hey guys, I am Dimzies from the Omnic Post with an update on Overwatch. A brand new experimental card went live, and it is a doozy. A few weeks ago, Houston Outlaws superstar Jake shared on his stream that he contributed to a brand new creator experimental card. These creator experimental cards are thought out by a select group of content creators, and they're always over the top. But we'll have a quick look at that card in just a minute. So as I said earlier, Jake took on some of the heroes, mainly the projectile DPS. While one focused on the hitscan heroes. Lemon Kiwi made the calls for the tanks and ML7 decided on what they should do with the support characters. So starting this week we all get to play that experimental card. But if you're feeling adventurous you might want to get a team together and take part in the second experimental card tournament. There is one tournament per region and their stakes are high. In both Korea and Australia New Zealand the winner will get $4,500. The runner-up $2,500. In Europe there's prize money for the first four spots with six thousand dollars for the winner and in north america the first eight teams are getting prize money the winner is getting a whopping ten thousand dollars that is a lot of cheesecake just say all right let's go over the changes every single hero was changed in some way I'm not going to discuss all of the changes. That would make the video a little too long and boring. I'll just pick some of the more spectacular ones. If you want to read up on all of them, check the patch notes. I'll also leave a link to those below. I do want to start out with two comments. First off, they added a 75% cap for movement speed buffs. There are a lot of speed buffs and in case they wouldn't have capped it, it would have started to look like you were playing Overwatch the pinball machine. Second, all the tanks had their damage cut by 50%. That is a huge nerf. And as a Reinhardt main, I don't like it. It feels like I'm swinging a wet towel around instead of my mighty hammer. The only tank I still enjoyed playing was actually Sigma. He can all up spheres one after the other. If he hits his target with accretion, he'll get a second charge. His kinetic grasp makes him immune for crowd control and he has his instant barrier back. All the other tanks have some interesting changes but the 50% damage reduction just sucks the fun out of playing them. Like Roadhog, they implemented some area of effect changes to him that have everyone benefit from him staying close to his team. Extra heals, damage reduction, but since he lost a lot of his damage potential it just feels like you are that clingy weird guy that smells funny and keeps following people. In the DPS camp there's Genji, he can swift strike till the cows come home, but it is less lethal per strike. Doomfist can reduce his cooldowns by staying mobile. Echo can heal herself, Bastion is smaller but deadlier, Cassidy lost his air roll again, and Reaper does nothing but shadow step and raid form. There are more DPS changes, I'll leave you to discover them for yourself. Nothing too dramatic except maybe for Symmetra. Symmetra is gone. Well, let me clarify. She has gone from the DPS role and is now a support. Symmetra has healing turrets. It is so weird. After all those years of trauma, it makes it really hard to adjust. But in my opinion, this is a change I would like to see explored further. It is so much fun. When it comes to the other supports, Anna can sleep turrets, Brigitte packs a huge punch with her whip shot, and the five man res is back. You heard that correctly. Mercy has her old alt back, and I don't like it, but I might be alone in this one. Anyways. So those were the changes in this new creator experimental card. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And in Sunday's Omnic Recap, I'll go a little more in depth on these changes and how they play. So make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch.